and I just wanted to point this out real quick so today's video sponsored by Dorsey trailer there's a link in the description if you want to find out some more information about Dorsey trailer all right it's Tuesday afternoonish we uh, had to go to Tucson this morning take the dogs to the vet get their nails trimmed I stopped by Peterbilt bought some more stuff I got a the disc so this is the disc for the fifth wheel so I bought that an airbag I got one airbag I might have nicked it when I was uh, doing the uh, painting and but anyway if you look right there so I might have nicked it but I got one airbag I got to replace and then this here is a license plate light hang on all right I had a phone call I had to answer it was Katie calling one she wanted to know how I was making progress on the truck here and I had to tell her so the next project we're gonna take and it is gonna be a messy job is I have got to change these fuel lines coming in on both sides my tanks aren't leveling out here let me crawl under here hang one second all right we're under the trailer so looking straight up that little valve right there is a high flow return splitter so the the fuel that the truck does not use comes back and then that separates it to the different tanks my tanks aren't leveling out so I got to replace the fuel lines and I'm starting to find little pieces of rubber in the fuel filter on the top of the primary fuel filter um, so and there's no easy way to do it so these are the the lines right up here these are the fuel lines and they come across there and then go over to the other tank over on that side and then the two fuel lines one is the draw one is the return go up to the front and there is no easy way to do this so let me crawl back out here yesterday I tried loosening up these fittings right here with no success both of these so I have a couple options I can undo the bolts for the tank lower the tank down and try to get them undone or the other thing I was thinking of was just cutting the line right here and spinning the whole thing around to get it out but this little fitting won't move that's my biggest problem right now so on both sides so I'm not too sure how I'm gonna accomplish it yet but uh, that's what I'm gonna try to figure out so I will give you updates and let you know what's going on all right we got it out it ain't pretty but we got it out so this is the fuel line here this is the return fuel line and uh, I ended up cutting it with the saw and I still couldn't get it to spin around because this piece was hitting on that. This piece right here, this is part, this was part of the fuel line for the generator. So I'm gonna come up with something different. And then this piece was down in there like that. This was loose. I can get that out almost with my fingers. What I can't do is I can't get any of these loose. So I'm going to put it in the vise and uh, see if I can get some of these loose in the vise. But I was cranking on it and I was afraid I was going to break this part down here. So that is one done. Next thing, see, you might have the same problem right here. As you can see, I hate to cut this piece though. So we'll, uh, here, that's better. You might have the same problem here. This is the other fuel line for the generator. This is the primary line. So I knew this was not going to be easy and not going to be pretty. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. 
All right, I'll keep you updated. Okay, we got the fuel lines out. Um, so these are the fittings right here that will go back in here, like so, like so. That's the draw. That's the return right there. And this right here is the vent. You can hear the little ball in there. So here's the fittings. I ended up cutting them off. And there's the lines right there. So we're just going to do one side at a time. I'm going to take these lines down to the Napa store, see if they can make some for me. Um, now the generator situation, I'm going to do something different because it was just a pain. So these were the valves years ago. See, I had that generator put on in 2004 or five, somewhere around there. And they had put these valves on there. As you can see, I had to cut that one off right there. There was just no way I could get those off of there. So I'm going to have to come up with something different. Um, I'm probably going to do like I did on the other truck, get the single tubes. And I know you guys think it's crazy, but I'm going to drill a hole in the tank. Seems to be the easiest thing to do. So, all right, I'm going to go take these down to Napa, see if they can make them for me. Hopefully they can. We'll get those on and uh, they probably won't be done today, but we'll get the back on and then we're going to do the other side and um, and then we'll work away to the front of the truck. So anyway, all right. I'll, uh, I'll check back in with you guys later today after I go to Napa and see if I can get these made.